Meghan's PR agency says Meghan Markle will use the final year of her current Netflix contract to take on America's most famous lifestyle queens like Ina Garten, Martha Stewart, or Joanna Gaines. Sources say that Harry and Meghan's Netflix deal won't be renewed when the contract ends next year, and that Meghan's trying to position herself as a lifestyle entrepreneur a la Joanna Gaines or Gwyneth Paltrow. The Sussexes spokesperson now expects Markle to work on a Netflix project close to her heart, something in the same realm as her former lifestyle blog, The Tank. Meghan will take on Martha Stewart, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Ina Garden and play them at their own game, said the insider. Getting advice from powerful friends like CLAW Keller, the former GCI designer who created a wedding dress, and with whom she had lunch Thursday at Beverly Hills Power Spot, Cone. Victoria Jackson, a QVC star and makeup entrepreneur, just this month, Marco was seen cooking traditional Afghan food when she visited the Southern California Welcome Project for an evening of cooking and storytelling. This wouldn't surprise me, a Hollywood source said of Marco wanting her own lifestyle empire. But the source added, she has to be relatable and natural the way Drew Barrymore is. It can't feel contrived or like she's acting. An expert said that while Markle might want to turn herself into a lifestyle guru in the vein of Stewart or Joanna Gaines, who heads up the $50 million Magnolia brand with her husband Ship, that would inevitably require letting viewers into her personal life. The reason Martha, Joanna, and Gwyneth have crushed it is because they've let viewers into the most private spaces and shared their biggest secrets, said Rachel Richardson, a former Snapchat executive and writer of the highly flammable Trends newsletter. Richardson added, in Harry and Meghan, the Netflix documentary and the Oprah interview, Meghan let cameras capture some aspects of her private life. But to pull off a successful lifestyle show, she'll have to be prepared to swing the door all the way open. Richardson also questioned whether Markle could use a royal coat of arms, which is now prominent on the new Sussex.edu status, for commercial gain. It's not difficult to imagine the clamor for Duchess of Sussex branded cookware, furniture, loungewear, yoga mats, etc. It's actually quite difficult to imagine it would have happened already if there was a lucrative market just sitting there waiting to be fulfilled, she said. She's falling back on projects that she would have considered beneath her in 2020 when she was certain she'd be A-list, working with other A-list actors and directors, appearing in blockbusters. Now she'd settle for selling yoga mats with a royal crest on them. But even that is a niffy proposition. The only Paltrow-adjacent thing Meghan could do is to stand on a ski slope and hope some old guy runs into her, but she doesn't do sports because she doesn't want to look stupid, and she would, so this is out. As for Martha Stewart, nope, she wouldn't do as well as she did in prison. That girl just held her head up high and came back better than before. The Markle? Yeah, I don't know. On the other hand, there are lots and lots of cameras in prison, so it might work out. Meghan can't see a fashion sense beyond terrible. She has zero idea of style and class. Why does she keep doing these humiliating things to herself? Netflix doesn't want anything to do with her, and Suits has essentially said, sure, sure about her involvement until they essentially shut her up.